day to help out Rob. He's got this amazing listing and uh, I've been here before and it's just so great that I wanted to bring you in and take a look at it. And you know, part of the Williams family business in real estate is, you know, helping our fellow EXP agents. And Rob needs, you know, some additional input. He knows what to do to get this house ready, but y'all, this house is a monster. And it is something that is larger than what we're typically seeing in the market. And it is super high end for the time that it was built. Um, it's gonna need a couple of things before it can really hit the market. And he's already done one round of, um, you know, pointing out things and preparing things, taking out carpet. And we're here as a team. Um, Jason here is our lender. And uh, he's an EXP agent, but he's also with Atlantic Bay Mortgage. And uh, this is Rob Lamb. He's not part of the Williams Family Real Estate Group here. <laughs> we're, we're all family. That's right. But he is part of our EXP family. And uh, it means everything to Jacob and me to support our um, colleagues um, because that's what we're in business for. Um, we don't get anything out of this except for the pure joy. So this house is in a country club community and the location is incredible. I mean, it's centrally located to all things. So no matter what, people are going to be interested in this. Now, once they come in, they may say, oh my goodness, this uh, project is overwhelming because this house is nearly 7,000 square feet. We don't know how that's going to go. Some people may say that is, wow, an almost 7,000 square feet project. Um, or they're going to say, I have to bring this place back to glory. So we're here to figure out what it's going to be. Right off the, the bat though, take a look at these floors and they are um, herringbone laid um, wooden floors right in the lobby. I mean, it says, hello. <laughs> uh, it's just those custom touches. And if you look straight up to um, the two story foyer, you can see layers upon layers upon layers of crown molding. And that is just one of the things that used to say, welcome you are in a high-end place and i don't have to say it because the crown molding says it all for me <laughs> let's see what else uh, what i would do in here is take down these heavy drapes um, it immediately dates it um, we need those off the wall we need also the um, curtain rods off the wall you know what that's going to leave it's going to leave screws it's going to leave holes in it but i can also say that this is more even a yellowy color, light yellow, which was super popular at that time. Um, not so much today. If it was a little bit more on the ivory white, I think you could get away with it. You may want to paint this, but let's hold off and just put that on the possibility list. The curtains are a must to come down. Absolutely have to come down. Um, and uh, the certain out. thing is, that's correct. Yeah. Um, you can also see, look in the built-ins over there. Um, you got a lot of that polished brass behind there. Um, you may want to, you know, to, brass is back, but it's a different kind of back brass. That is super polished. Um, there's a different finish on the brass today. So I might would even just take down the shelves altogether because you don't see a whole lot of glass in shelving today anyway. A lot of what you're seeing is raw wood if there is um, a built-in. So I would probably just take that out. Jason, you've been an agent. Um, now you are a lender you know, helping us in the business. Um, with this type of price tag, can we get conventional financing on this or are we gonna have to go in and get a jumbo loan? Thanks to 2023, conventional loan limits went up. So now you can get a conventional financing. You can get in this house for as little as 5% down. Oh my God. Uh, so, that seems crazy. It I mean, it's the the max conventional loan limit is 726,200 now. So it, because of inflation, it's gone up. You can get in 5% down, save that cash, and do some, some things to fix up this house, make it your own, have that equity, you know, and well, that's what I was going to say. And you that expands my buyer pool. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and that's what we're here to do is help give Rob some options. Um, and having that 5% down, wow, you can save your cash because the money still is cheap. Everybody keeps talking about rates going up. Y'all, the money is still super cheap. Um, so, then you can put the rest of that money into a new kitchen because <laughs> you're going to need it. <laughs> 
there's nothing we can do here. <laughs> um, it is what it is, and you know what? It was completely high end and custom for when it was built. Um, so I have pure appreciation for everything that is here in this room. Um, but you know, today's home buyer is going to want something different. Um, they're going to want bright and light and open, and they're going to want quartz countertops, and they're going to want stainless appliances. Um, somebody can move into this house right now today and live here beautifully because of everything that you've got here. You have everything here. All right, Jacob, right off, you know, you were learning the business. What do you think needs to be done right away? The mantle's got to get changed. Um, I mean, there's other things. I would, the paint color's fine. It's got to be cleaned. Um, Mantle changed, all the trash gone, and maybe paint the fireplace. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can take that mantle down for sure, but you don't think these glaring blue drapes oh, need yeah. to be taken down? <laughs> they just got to go as well. Yeah, they're, they're in the process, too. <laughs> this so, is getting going. And, and to be fair, this is a probate house also. So this oh, is a lot, yeah. of, this is a lot of, of former homeowner stuff that we're having to... Oh, yeah. It's so special, and they had so many personal things in here that were amazing. They had a they had a baby grand piano in here that was just gorgeous. But these were custom drapes. You can tell, very custom. But they got to go. People don't do blue drapes today. So um, and brown blinds or tan, tan blinds. <laughs> that's that's why they're coming down. <laughs> So I would take all of that out. I mean, you've got this amazing architectural ceiling here. Um, and I do agree, just lift that um, mail off because it's probably just screwed to it and you have immediately updated that. Um, I think a buyer could personally see um, that they would go in and paint that today because painted um, fireplace surrounds are, are all the rage. So um, I would just take off that oak mail um, because it screams 1980. <laughs> and it doesn't match. Yeah. And uh, get this rug out, let the floors be seen, get these um, drapes off, and I think we're fine in here. So, originally this had green carpet in it, and I mean, in the late, late 80s, I mean, again, that was the coolest, hippest thing to do. Um, this is much more updated. Um, again, take these drapes off the wall. Um, that, you caught me in the middle. That yeah, and that that puts it in a whole different era. So that's gonna update it. Oh yeah, I love these. Um, right in the middle of the floor. I mean, <laughs> that, that was genius. Um, and but look again at the crown here. It's it's a different um, type of crown, uh, and it's still just. This was designed originally as a study, and it was listed in the original paperwork as a study and not a bedroom, but it truly qualifies as a bedroom. Yeah, it does, and everybody's looking for a second bedroom on the main, and this actually, you know, gives people that um, option. With a large um, closet. But it is set up with this here to have a nice desk uh, where you can plug everything in as well. All right, um, come here, I want to show you my pet peeve. This is something that um, I've done several videos about, and um, Rob's gonna take care of this, so I'm not worried about it. But, ew, y'all, that's so nasty. And whenever you hire someone to deep clean your house, they don't think about the light switch. But what is the first thing a real estate agent touches whenever they walk into a house or a room? That, it's so <laughs> gross clean that or get a new stuff look all right so the master here is uh or the primary is um gigantic it's huge and uh this carpet's brand new so um it that has at least updated it uh you know it does look better in here those drapes are gonna have to come down i would open up um uh the blinds for sure um on every bit of it I don't know that I would do anything else. Uh, all right, we totally skipped the normal dining room um, with this house, but look at these panels. I mean, are they not so awesome? So the trend right now is to paint everything, ceiling, trim, everything one color, um, monochromatic. So um, the pink has got to go. 
Um, I'm sure the original owner who had this house custom built probably absolutely loved this color more than anything. I, you know, do it all white, every bit of it white, um, and make it all one. Uh, I think that will completely update it. And that's an inexpensive update. Leave the light fixture. Somebody's going to want to put their own touch in here. And it's all going to also depend too on, you know, do they want to do a round table or do they want to do a rectangle? Mm -hmm. um, and we can let that new buyer decide. Right. So we had a great time uh, going through this house in Heatherwood and just pointing out its beautiful features. Somebody's going to love this place. Um, so Rob, thank you for letting us come through and support you and help you and hopefully give you a couple more things to put on that list. Right. That you you certainly, certainly added to my list and, and I knew I could depend on you guys where, you know, when, when we call, there's always somebody to, to help us out. And, and a second set of eyes, a third set of eyes, is fantastic to put on something like this. Because this is the project and, you know, this is, this is what we do for our clients. That's right. And I love it. It's going that extra mile, right, Jacob? Mm -hmm. and, it, <laughs> and this is one we've been working with the clients for six months now. Right. And they're just now wanting to put the house on the market. Right. And sometimes it just takes that. Sometimes we work behind the scenes for, um, you know, a year. Uh, 18 months before we get something ready to put it to market so a lot of times agents are like oh I mean people the public will say well God what did you do <laughs> we're actually doing a whole lot behind the scenes that people don't even know about and a lot of times our sellers don't even know about it because our job is to take that stuff off of them so um, as I'm looking here as we're about to wrap up I'm seeing this pattern concrete and right. you know you're a, a concrete expert from years past right. and I mean, that is, again, the highest end feature, yeah. and it's something that um, I used to put on my vision board. I wanted a house with pattern concrete. This, this, this stamped concrete from the 1980s, probably close to 3,500 square feet, probably back then, cost 12 to $15 a square foot. Wow. So there's no telling what's in this driveway. And we haven't even mentioned the fact that it's got parking in the rear right. with a full RV pad with shore power and a dumping station <laughs> here at the house. So you can have the in-laws visit, you can, have the, uh, you can have your parents living with you in the basement or upstairs. I right. mean, the possibilities are endless for this house. I mean, I agree. It's amazing what can be done for this house. It's just something really special. So I hope you enjoy the tour. Thanks for going with us. And uh, we'll be back with you with the Williams Family Business as always. Get a real estate life.